Hello, hello, hello. This is Frida. Welcome to my channel. Okay, I'm going to be doing a yarn unboxing and I'm going to be doing a surprise um, crochet tutorial. So stay tuned until I open this package. This looks like arrived on Friday, but we miss, we forgot to go to the community uh, post uh, box that we have here. <laughs> I thought we did and my husband he thought we did so uh, I think he went yesterday and this is what I got so uh, I'm assuming it's yarn <laughs> and I bought it from Aliexpress uh, I don't know if you guys remember uh, I did a surprise yarn that I have received and I didn't know who sent it until uh, <laughs> it was a gift from one of my lovely subscribers so what I did is, after uh, receiving that, I searched it up and I tried to find uh, the free shipping. Oh, they packed it. Oh my goodness! Oh, that's why they keep on sending me emails. So what they're doing is, now they're sending a couple of items in one package and saving money. Isn't this cool? See? I think it's a brilliant idea. Yeah. So, uh... Yeah, let's see what I bought. That's why I've been getting um, messages from AliExpress emails. Uh, check uh, how how is the re uh, review like? What did how did it go and so on? I've been getting emails and I've been deleting them. So I thought I didn't receive them right. Oh, well, that's what it was all about. Okay. Yeah, I remember I was saying I went to a. Uh, yeah, this is what I was looking for. I mailed the package and I I wanted to put Fragile on them. So uh, I, I think I got a few from Canada Post, but I can't seem to find them. It was like same like this. So this one I paid money and it's just a small amount. So I forgot how much I paid. Yeah, there's nothing in. They never put any cards or business cards. So what I do is I go back to my account and I check what I paid for. So I will do that right away. And I'll give you the price. I forget, right? Because, uh, yeah. So this is nice. It's nice to have it handy. So I will put that in my package department. And uh, while I'm doing that, I'm opening my um, AliExpress here. So I, so I can give you guys uh, the price. Okay, uh, I can't remember what this was. I think it was beads or something. Uh, I made some uh, uh, necklaces. And uh, I don't only, only knit and crochet. I make other stuff as well. And I'll show you uh, what I did is. I ha I, look what I made like a bracelet I had these beads sitting in my um, what you call it oh, I have another one here somewhere huh, here it is <laughs> see oops sorry just show you as so I made these I bought this from a dollar a uh, dollar tree I believe these are elastic and uh, I made bracelets. See, aren't they cute? For my wrist, because usually when I buy them, what happens is uh, they're always too tight. Okay, so for that fragile sign, I paid. I'm just checking here. Oh, where are you? That's nice that they came in one package. So I paid $2.69. Isn't that cool? And the shipping was free. So that's what I do. I check for free shipping. Hey, yeah, here they are. See, these are, I believe they're, oh, look. <laughs> Aren't they cute? I believe these are glasses. Yeah. Because uh, I bought these, and that's in my bedroom. The beads were too small. These are glass. 
and I had a hard time having the needle go through so I bought bigger ones I might make it uh, glass uh, eyeglasses uh, necklaces I wear them a lot oh I can't find the here we go yeah, I know it's not yarn related, but uh, I can also add these to my, um, oh, I think these are plastic, they're not glass. Yeah. Oh, well, that's okay. Because this one, this one is glass. This one, I can't remember where I bought it, but there, see how tiny it is? So what I'll do is I'll mix and match, and uh, I will make something. I say, ah, <laughs> uh, no, that's why I've been getting emails. Oh my goodness, I thought that you know it's annoying. Get uh, what I'll do is because they see that it's been arrived, and uh, I didn't pay attention. We didn't pay attention. Okay, well these came super fast. Because I paid these people, oh, well, September the 27th. So, three weeks. Uh, I'm going to be cutting these careful. Because I don't want to. Uh... And for the beads, uh, let me get you guys the price. If you're interested. I paid for those two packages $2.49. Okay. Oh, oh, these are tiny. Oh, uh, cause uh, oh, I can't remember. I have to go back check to to check that uh, uh review that I did. See, I made an octopus with that, and these are twenty five gram. Oh, uh, yeah what it said so i paid fifteen dollars and twenty seven i'm sorry fifteen dollars and twenty cents these are in uh canadian the prices that i'm giving you so i think they're expensive don't you guys think so yeah uh what i do is i make octopus right and uh, these are milk yarn They're uh, 20 gram and 70. Yeah, they're pretty, pretty small. Oh, boy. I think the one that I received was bigger. I can't remember. I have to go back and check that video. It was a surprise that I, I received. It was this color, mint color. And I made an octopus out of it. Octopus? Octopus, uh, crochet, or, 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 or me, grimy. Yeah, um, oh, well, okay. Kind of, uh, oh, a pretty small. So I'll use this yarn to make the tutorial, and, uh, we'll go from there. They're super soft, though, that's the thing, that's the main thing. I bought these for, to crochet, uh, octopus for the, for the, uh, omigurumi and uh the, when you touch them after it's finished it's it uh, gives you that nice feeling so when you're touching it's nice and smooth it's not uh, harsh or anything so i thought these would be perfect for uh omigurumi's uh, octopuses that i crochet i sell them and uh yeah okay so let's start with this yarn and uh i'm um, just kind of uh surprise if they're pretty tiny yeah sorry about the sound let me put this back in here and uh okay so uh the let me move these aside okay um here is the sample that i've been working on can you see you can make beautiful rugs with this 
I used that five ball key yarn, so it is uh, quite thick, just to point out. So, uh, compare to this one, this won't be that much of a bulky uh turn the light on it's pretty cloudy outside i think it's gonna snow <laughs> so i'll just move the label usually i try to pull it from the inside because it's it's uh let me do that yeah oh see how easy it came out sometimes half of the yarn comes out when you pull it from the inside right and it's easy to uh oh well i'm not gonna put this back on Okay, so let's get started. Uh, you need to chain multiple of three, and it's super easy, and I just love it, love it, love it, how it turned out. I am planning to make rugs, but I want to uh, go into my stash. Uh, this would be perfect for rugs because it gives you that 3D look, see? Definitely. And this is the back, so it's nice and flat on the back. Yeah. And if you use a thinner yarn, uh, these part would be smaller, of course. And uh, I thought this would be perfect for rugs or for big blankets, even for blankets. Okay, I'm just looking at the label or what kind of a crochet hook to use. But uh, it's written in Chinese, so I'll just use my, uh, just pull up my, oh, my uh, tulip here, my set, and then figure out what to start with i will chain with a five it's pretty um and then i will crochet with a three and a half i guess okay so i'm going to be chaining multiple of three so this is just going to be a sample one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Let's do 21. Okay, uh, the first row we're going to be doing single crochets. Just like this. Uh, I think five, uh, five is nice to crochet with. So I will go with uh, 4.5, I would say, or even a... Where's my other crochet hook? It's a four. With a four millimeter crochet hook. Okay. Uh, it's early in the morning. Um, my voice can sound weird. <laughs> I don't have a cold or anything. It's just early in the morning. I haven't... Oh, the phone is ringing. Great. I missed the call. It rang three times and they hung up on me. I don't understand why do people call early in the morning. So I brought my brought the phone with me. So I'm going to do single crochet and uh and the next row I will do double crochet and on the third row we will start the stitch. It's just a two row repeat. That's all it is. It's super easy, actually. But there's some tricks and uh, ways to do this. And uh, let me just finish this and I'll be right back. Okay, I am on the last chain. I did my last single crochet. Pull this a little bit tight. Chain three to go up. This row is going to be double crochet. That's all I'm going to do. And... Uh, I will finish this row and I'll be right back and then we will start the stitch okay I just checked the video and it yeah the yarn that I received was 25 so it's going to be perfect to uh, crochet octopuses on um, omigurumi octopuses that I already have a tutorial so go and check that out if you want to see the octopus omigurumi tutorial okay so I'm at the last here I know it's off topic, but it's the yarn related, so it's the same yarn. Okay, so I did my last double crochet, chain three to go up, and then make uh, two more 
uh, double crochet so that one uh, three chain is considered as one double crochet and after that we're going to chain one two three four five and then what we're going to do is right here right here can you see right here I, i'm going to grab uh that v can you see not this one below but here so one two three when you go it's this one i am just gonna grab it from here just to grab it and then i'm going to make a slip stitch chain one turn my work and then we're going to make total of seven half double crochets so one and that chain that we have chain two three four five six and then seven so we fill that five chain and then yarn over and then i'm going to continue making three more double crochets just like that see how easy it is it's just to find the right spot and then chain five again three four five and then we're going to do the same thing so we go below one two three right here and then this time i'm going to pick it from here right there and then make a slip stitch chain one turn your work and then fill it again see how easy it is it's just to find the right spot so i'll show it to you again three four five six seven think about it i was going to show you i have this perfect pastel velvet yarn and then i'm gonna i'm gonna make uh, three double uh, double crochets i wanted to do the tutorial with that but you guys will get confused so I thought it would be nice to uh, show it with a plain solid color. Okay, so I did my three double crochets again. And then this is how it looks like. See how nice. And then I'm going to chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. And then again, go on the bottom. Not this one, but on the bottom. So just on the bottom. One, two, three. And then what you do is you just grab it from here just right there and then make a slip stitch that's all we do chain one turn our work and then make half seven half double crochets two three four five six seven yarn over and then continue making your three double crochets one two three one two three four five and then go right on the third again so when you go on the bottom one two three and then grab it from here grab it like that and then make a slip stitch chain one turn your work and then seven half double crochets two three four five six seven and then again make three double crochets if i'm if you see that i'm crocheting fast you can go to the settings and slow it down one two three four five because i am explaining as i'm going so again on the bottom previous one not this one but on the bottom one two three right here just grab it like that and then slip stitches secure it chain one turn your work and then again one two three four five six 
seven half double crochets and then continue one two three uh, uh we shouldn't have oh well I'll just grab this one make the fourth one we shouldn't have should have had three but uh, i don't know what happened here hmm. uh yeah i did skip one here oh well it's supposed to be a uh, three left at the end but that's okay so chain three to go up and then what we're going to do is we're going to make the same thing so two what we did on the first row okay chain one two three four five but this time we're going to turn our work turn our work and then we're what we're going to do is we're going to come again on the bottom right here grab it from here and then make a slip stitch chain one and then again repeat what we did so actually it's uh one row repeat but uh because of the wrong side of the work we're doing it we're working on the front as we see here two four six and one more okay yarn over and then what we're going to do is we're going to crochet yeah okay. i'm going to be skipping here one two three sorry about that i get messages a lot <laughs> one two three four five turn my work okay so this is how it looks like right as you can see so what we're going to do is one two three right on the bottom so we're going to be grabbing it grabbing it right here see one two three just grab it somewhere like this grab it secure it sorry i went up again i don't know what's up with that i keep on going up <laughs> slip stitch it there chain one turn my work and then make seven half double crochets two three four five six seven go yarn over and then when you fold this you will three you will see the three double crochets so i will go right there and then make three double crochets one two and then three and then i repeat it again one two three four five turn my work and automatically see i go i go one two three on the bottom right there between right there see i grab it and then i'm making zigzags one i'll just finish this and i'll show it to you and then one chain turn your work and then seven half double crochets three four five six seven yarn over and then i fold this i hold it like this and i see automatically the double crochets and i go there and then i make three double crochets two three again one two three four five turn my work on the right side see how it's becoming so automatically i come one two three on the previous row i just go in between and i grab it from here just grab it i go between i poke my crochet hook can you see I just grab it like this then i make a slip stitch 
chain one turn my work oh my goodness this yarn is fantastic it's so smooth i would highly recommend it's it's a pricey though just to point out because 25 gram for a dollar yeah how much did i pay let me just check that give you the right price oh i think it was one dollar and fifty cents for 25 gram so it is a bit pricey uh, let me just go back it looks like i took it off oh here we go orders so i said i paid 15 for 15 balls and uh so they come to one dollar and 17 cents in canadian yeah yeah but they are very soft see it's uh and i'm comparing it softer than this yeah okay so i'm just doing four five six and then seven half double crochets and i turn my work right away i go yarn over like you will see the three double crochets and then you automatically make your three double crochets just like this okay and then you go one two three four five chain turn your work and then you repeat it see how it's becoming i think it's brilliant i really really love the look so again you go one two three on the bottom and you just grab grab that see i'm showing it over and over i hope you understand it's just that between you chain one, do the slip stitch, chain one, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, yarn over, and then make your three double crochets. It's always three double crochets when you're crocheting. one two three turn your work and then make two double crochets so we're at the beginning how we started the stitch one two three four five and then automatically you go two rows below and i just grab it between here just to secure it that leg there slip stitch chain one turn your work See how easy it is? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So uh, basically it's a two row repeat. Okay. And then I automatically find my three double crochets here. And then I make my three double crochets. That's all to it. It's repeat after repeat. Same method one two three four five and then what you do is you go below the previous and then you just uh just go between here here this right there and then you do a slip stitch turn your work well i didn't even turn my work and then make half seven half double crochet so you got it i hope you uh, understood uh if you get lost just go back to the beginning so simple and it's it goes fast actually two four six seven then yarn over turn your work hold it like this and you will see the three double crochets and then make three double crochets on top of those three double crochets and uh, this is all to it one two three three four five 
and then hold this part this way and then so I don't even have to count anymore because I just go back where those three double crochets is and I poke my crochet hook between and then slip stitch chain one to go up and then I make seven half double crochets it's this part I'm sure everyone's going to get lost it's right below see when we're doing the three rows you just go in between and you grab it from here just grab it from there that's all we do grab it from here two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then hold this down, yarn over, and then find those three double crochets, and then continue making three double crochets on top of them. So this is all to it. And doesn't this look nice? I just love it. See? Looks like rings. Rings, rings on each other. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Let's automatically pull this. Grab it from there. Right there. Make a slip stitch chain one and then seven double crochets okay let me finish this row and i will be right back okay so i did my last part here and i am joining and automatically i see my three so on the previous row i did jump remember i, I jumped so that must be in the extra chain uh, stitch there so I, I looks like i got rid of that one so i have three and i just do my three double crochets where i see them chain three to go up and then make two double crochets chain one two three four five and i am repeating the second row which was, I grabbed it from here, remember? And then I made a slip stitch, chain one, and then I make seven half double crochet. So I just repeat the two rows over and over. Three, four, five, 